In 2007, after the Finding Life expedition to Mount Everest, I remember thinking, I have taken so much from this country in terms of memories and life-changing experiences that there must be a way for me to give something back. As I listened to the children of Child Haven thanking Ad Astra for building them a school, I asked myself, how can I help make a difference in their lives? I learned that the children living in the home did not have access to sufficient amounts of clean drinking water. I made it my mission to lead an initiative to help build a well for the orphaned children at Child Haven. I decided to share the message with schools across Eastern Ontario. My goal was to inspire and empower youth. I never could have imagined what happened next. It began with the students from Vincent Massey Public School. They were so inspired by the Finding Life story and touched by my mission to build a well that they made it their own personal mission to help the cause. Together, with the help of their teachers, they decided to put on a fundraiser of their own. They performed a play called Once Upon a Lily Pad, the story of a frog that lost his way. They charged admission and collected funds, which were then donated to Child Haven International. It was one of the proudest moments of my life. Knowing that these kids truly understood the power that they have as individuals, and that together, they too could make a difference. And they did, and others followed their lead. With the help of many supporters and the help of dozens of schools in the Ottawa area, we finally reached our goal. The well was finally built, and over 360 children are benefiting daily from the access to clean drinking water. Together, through cooperation, we can make a difference. To all of the students, teachers, and all of the incredible people who believed and supported this project, thank you. Through our perseverance, we did this together. I've decided that every year, Finding Life will have an annual charitable campaign starting with a very special project launching in 2010.